You gotta step in to what's been provided for you. You can stay on the outside if you want to. Or you can take what belongs to you. He paid the price for you to have everything you need. Healing belongs to you. Salvation belongs to you. Prosperity belongs to you. Every promise, 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 every promise. You can claim. Come on, just reach up and say, I take it. Just ask it in his name. Jesus, 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 Jesus. everything you need he's already provided He's already provided. Um, this was a, a song inspiration because <laughs> we like to give people credit where we get these songs from. It was a song song inspiration from from Carla, and it was actually part of a thank you package for Natalie. <laughs> so shout out to Natalie <laughs> because the Lord used you to provide a blessing, a major blessing for uh, for Carla, and um, and she also sent some scriptures. All that's in the room, y'all. So thank y'all for coming in. Come on in. It's 8.30. We're going to get started. There is a lot to cover tonight. Um, before we shift into prayer, I'm going to do just some admin things 
first and then then in order we'll we'll move into prayer i am watching the facebook street so um you know if there's anybody out there i promise i'm looking <laughs> slightly i'm looking um so just a few things the first off is a huge shout out and thank you to carmen who is um, taking lead on the february 18th vision board event it's free, y'all. I know we dropped uh, some information in the Facebook group chat. It's open to everybody. Um, it's You're basically coming in through, we're doing it on Zoom. So it's open to anybody, everybody. And if there's anybody in your life who could use a little help with their vision board, um, and I love how how our Carmen and the team's doing this, y'all come to the event. So it's February 18th, it's 3 p.m. It's a Sunday before y'all got another day off. So don't complain, <laughs> don't complain. And also I do wanna say thank you to Nat and I know Makisha is gonna um, be helping. So thank you to Nat and Makisha because y'all are also donating your time and your talent to make sure that Carmen, um, yeah, Tracy, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... <laughs> Tracy, Tracy's available. <laughs> so, so make sure you sign up, y'all. Men and women, men and women. I also want to do a quick shout out. Men and women, because my brother-in-law, Baron, who was here on Monday, great, gave a great testimony, is signed, is um interested. He's joining, he's coming to that event. So men and women, y'all, make sure you sign up for this vision board event. So that's February 18th. You can go to Grace and Grit Media and register. And that way you'll get the email reminder. If you don't, you know, we're going to keep reminding you anyway, but that's just an easy way for you to get a, an autom automated reminder as you come closer to the event. The next thing is there was a poll that was dropped for a meetup here in Georgia. Um, and there were some dates assigned. I think there was three dates. Makisha dropped this in the Facebook prayer group. So we want to get your feedback uh, on whether you thought you'd find some value in just meeting up. We're just meeting up in person, checking in. Um, we were considering um, uh, going through the or meeting up at the Roswell Library. But before you do that, you have to have a head count. And we want to make sure that people are actually going to show up and it's not just me and Makisha. <laughs> so please, you know, uh, respond to her poll. She's trying to get a head count. Respond as soon as you can so that we can lock the dates down and and I'm really praying that this will give us an opportunity to see each other in person again. It's free as it would be at a library. And we just we just coming in and checking on each other. So watch for that, uh, that poll in the group. And then the last thing is thank you. Thank you for all of you who have been inviting your friends and family. This is uh, it's so good to watch God working also on your hearts. You know, a lot of times when you get you get fed, some people get real selfish where they're getting fed and they don't want to share with anybody. So thank you for sharing. We're all supposed to be uh, on this journey, encouraging and inspiring each other together. So thank you. Please continue to invite your friends. If there's somebody who stands in need of prayer or a community of support, that's what we're here for. Doesn't mean you don't, you know, you stop going to your church. Please don't, <laughs> please don't bounce from your church. We, we are a supportive arm, if you will. Um, so, so again, thanks for those, uh, those who've joined recently. Thanks for those who are inviting your friends and family, all that. So that takes care of the admin because I have spoken these administrative things right before prayer. Now I'm going, I'm going to have to kind of shift a little bit back to get us back in order. So to get us in order, I'm just going to play, um, I'm just going to play some sounds just to um, get us again, set, reset the atmosphere. You came in and you, you heard a song about God being a provider. Now we just need to reset the atmosphere because things have to be done right in order, right? Nat, <laughs> we can't just pop up. <laughs> we don't just do pop up on Jesus. So I'm going to play just a few minutes just to get the atmosphere and what you want to do with this time is just set your heart right. We're going before the throne. We're going to follow the same ordered steps that he gave us with confession. We're going to pray over some verses in our lives. Um, we're going to pray over families. Uh, we're also going to pray for each of you. And then uh, we'll do declaration and then we'll do benediction and then we'll stop the live. And then we'll keep a conversation going after the live for those of y'all who are in the Zoom room. And again, we, we just don't want everything on social media. We have personal, private conversations here. And in order to make, the, make sure this is a safe place, we're going to shut down the live so we can talk. So I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, just start playing another uh, song again. This is just um, soaking music, and the intention is just for you to get your get your spirits right. If you're thinking about the day, this is where we want to let go of the day and and just really release. We're releasing everything 
uh, to God. sets the tone a little bit more so that we are um, ready. We're ready to hear from the Lord. So let me, let me mute. there we go. So I am going to start with, um, before we go into our confession, I'm going to open up with this prayer from, this is from Jeremiah. Okay. I'm, if I'm muting your lines, cause there's a feedback. So, um, so Jeremiah 33 verses three, verse three to nine. And I'm just going to, I'm going to read this out as a uh, part of our prayer. So, so father, um, father, first of all, we just thank you for giving us again, another opportunity to come before your holy throne and to hear from you directly tonight. Lord, we have hearts that are heavy and bones that are weary uh, and we're, we're here to hear from you, Lord. So we thank you for again, giving us the mercy and the grace to see another day. We thank you for bringing us to another prayer uh, we thank you, Lord, for everyone who is here under the sound of my voice, Lord God, that you have already blessed. Father, you know what our prayers and what we stand in need of. And so as we align our lives to you, our hearts are postured to hear from you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you've just um, you've just already blessed us. And so we we ask that you are renewing our strength, Lord God, in you. And, and Lord, we seek your face in every situation. We know that you're you're working in every area of our life, in our health, in our finance, and on our jobs, in our families, in every single area that we stand in need of. And, and so we just thank you, Lord, that, that you are, uh, that you're here. Father, we thank you that you are here. Amen. Jeremiah 33, um, verse three says, call to me and I will answer you and will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. So I'm going to pray this over some of us tonight, uh, some of us who are asking God, to be shifted a little bit higher. So Father, Father, we thank you that your word, your word says, if we call to you, you will answer and you will tell us great and hidden things that we have not known. And we ask, Lord God, that you will uh, pour out your great grace on us, ex extend our grace, increase our grace so that we will come to know the mysteries that that are with you, Lord God. For those of us who are seeking more wisdom and understanding and knowledge, Lord God, that you will give us the spirit of wisdom and understanding and open up heaven so that we understand the things that, that we need to. We thank you, Lord. Lord, in verse six, 
It says, behold, I will bring to it the health and healing. It's talking about the cities, but now we pray these as uh, these cities as families that are, are established here tonight, Lord God. So just as your word says that you would you would from this city, you would pour out, you'd bring it health and healing. We pour, we, we pray, Lord God, that you will do the same in our families, Lord God. So behold, where it says you will bring to it health and healing, and that you will heal them and reveal to them abundance of prosperity and security. Father, we thank you that just like the fortunes of Judah, you will restore our fortunes back to us and rebuild us and our families as they were at first. Father, I thank you that you've cleansed us from all the, of the guilt, Lord God. We thank you that you've forgiven us for all the guilt of our sin. And Father, we thank you that you have forgiven us. We thank you that you 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 have forgiven us because of the blood of Jesus Christ for the rebellion that we've created and caused against you, Lord God. Father, in every family, Lord, I pray that every family represented, Lord God, should be a name of joy, a pray of praise, of glory before all the nations of the earth and whoever hears of these families who are represented presented, Lord God, we hear of all the good that you have done for us in the name of Jesus, that, that as everyone around us fears and tremble, Lord God, we are soaking in your goodness and your prosperity and your blessings in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So I just wanted to open up with that prayer, y'all. And then we're going to go into, um, we're going to head into confession. So I'm just going to share my screen and then I'm going to ask um, someone to just confirm that you can see confession. We see it. All right. All right. And so for those of y'all who might be new to this, um, the way that we do confession, hi, everybody on uh, Facebook, I see you. Um, as we do confession, again, you say this out loud. You can stay on mute if you want to. You can come off mute or whatever, but the, 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 you have to speak. You have to speak his word. You have to say these things out loud. Don't try to bury your confession in your heart. Amen. You've got to say this out loud because you're not only speaking this to heaven, but you're also speaking, to, speaking these things to some things that are around you. Amen. So we're going to launch into our confession. Almighty God. God, we acknowledge and confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. We have not loved you with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. Deepen within us our sorrow for the wrong we have done and the good we have left undone. Lord, you are full of compassion and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. There's always forgiveness with you. Restore to us the joy of your salvation. Bind up that which is broken. Give light to our minds, strength to our wills, and rest to our souls. Speak to each of us and let your word abide with us until it has wrought in us your holy will. Amen. Lord, we just thank you, Lord, as we're lifting up each of us, our confessions into you, Lord God. We thank you again that you have blessed us and you've heard the confessions coming from our heart, Lord God. We thank you that heaven has heard it. We thank you that you have blessed us and you have received, Lord God. Thank you for your mercy and your goodness and your grace as you've heard the confessions that's coming from our heart as we enter into your throne. Amen. 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 Y'all, we have to do things in order. So we had to always, we got to start with, uh, with confession. So on Monday, um, Monday, we, we, uh, we let off and that was just yesterday, but it feels like it's been a week. But yesterday, um, we started off the week by position. I was saying this going, we're going to be real selfish. We're going to focus on us because we are, um, we are great at praying for other people. But this week he's been showing me that we really have to focus on him, like us, our relationship one-on-one. -on -one. So before, you know, you're on an airplane, when they say before you can help somebody else, you got to help yourself. You got to put the, the mask on yourself, the oxygen on yourself. So we're putting on spiritual oxygen for ourselves so we can help ourselves. Otherwise, we are no of no use to our, our families. We're of no use to our situation. So on Monday, we we talked, to, we, we uh, prayed a uh, prayer of, of uh, repentance. Um, we prayed the prayer of having a servant's heart. And we even... Um, we even, again, had a yearning. We prayed, you know, that we wanted to have a yearning for the Lord. And so today we're talking about falling in love with Jesus. And so today we, again, is back to the heart posture. 
is that we are positioning, we're, we're remembering, we're, we're bringing ourselves back to who Jesus is and falling in love with him again. Because again, it, it, you know, you can utter a prayer, you can say the same prayer for 30 years and nothing's broken. You got to remember that it is about your relationship with Jesus. And so we're going to do four separate prayers. I'm going to read the verses. And then as after I read the verse, I want you to make this your own, y'all. Talk to the Lord heart to heart. Amen. The Holy Spirit is already here and he is listening. Amen. So the first part point of a prayer is Jesus carries our burdens. And in Matthew 11, 28 through verse 30, it says, come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So now just take this prayer, y'all. Again, you can be on mute, stay off mute. You can, you know, heavenly tongue, not heavenly tongue. Just, just connect and pray, 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 pray this, this, uh, this prayer over yourself. So Father, we just thank you that what your words, your word says, Lord God, that all of us who are heaven laden, that all we have to do is come to you. So we're we're standing on this word and this promise, Lord Jesus, that those of us who are heavy laden, we are tired, Lord God, with the burdens of this word, this word, Lord God. Father, we're seeking you out for rest in our souls, rest in our minds, rest in our bodies, Lord God. Lord, your word says that your, your yoke is easy, the burden is light. So we're coming to you, Lord God, those of us who are exhausted in our heart, in our emotions, in our thoughts, Lord God. And we're coming and we're laying our burdens at your feet, Lord God. We're doing this because of what your word says. And we're believing, Lord God, that you are activating some things right now to release these burdens off our backs, Lord God. And Lord, we're believing in what you say, Lord God. And we're not picking these burdens back up. We're, we're, we're resting or walking away light as a feather. We thank you, Lord God, that your word stands true, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God, that you love us so much. You love us so much that you want us to bring our burdens and trials to you, Lord God. And so we release them now. We lay them at your feet. In Jesus' name, we all speak in prayer, in prayer, in tongues. If that's, if you can do that, if you can, it's okay. E mama 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 kero solo kuma kasa le mire mi e mama mama yes la costro mama goma yes le kile mi kile city ala e me kile city le o mama e ma kolo sotro mama mama yes le kime mi mi di se le kile city o mama yes le kono to e mama 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 yes lo costro kuma e la asa lo kono ma e me kile city iri Amen. Amen. All right. Y'all still there? Because remember, I can't see the chat. Y'all still there with me? Still here. Amen. Amen. All right. Next verse is he sympathized with us. Hebrews 4.15, for we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are yet without sin. And it's so good to know, and it's such another burden lift, lifted to know that he understands what we're going through, y'all. He understands the test, y'all. He understands the trial. He understands being mocked. He understands being talked about and ridiculed. He understands all that. He understands when family don't get you. Amen. He understands all that. He understands sacrifice. Sacrifice. Imagine sacrificing yourself when people don't, don't care about you. He understands all those things. He's able to sympathize with every single weakness that you have and you've got to know that falling in love with Jesus again part of that is understanding that we have a high priest he who sympathizes he get it he's empathetic he understands our weakness he understands our pain and he's in ever who was in every respect he was tempted yet without sin so we're going to go into prayer now as a prayer point father we just lord jesus we just thank you that you you understand my pain I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you understand my pain is one of the reasons I just marvel at your feet, Lord Jesus, because I can come to you with any pain that I have. And you understand you're not judging me for coming and talking to you, Lord Jesus. You're not looking down on me like other people would, Lord God. You're not misunderstanding my words and my thoughts. You understand what I'm going through. So I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you're the Savior that understands my pain. You understand my burden. You don't judge me for 
with coming to you with it, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that you're the kind of servant. You've, you've been through these things. You've lived a life here as man. And I just, I'm so grateful. And so, oh God, you are so worthy. You, you are so worthy to be praised. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, for sympathizing. You understand my pain. Thank you for understanding it. Part of that is what makes me just love talking to you, Jesus, because I know you get it. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you get it. It's why I love you so much, Father. You get it. With the days when I can't utter a word, you get it. The days when it's nothing but a moan and a groan, you get it. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you get it when nobody else does. I can come to you at any time, Lord God, that you are right now, God, that you're the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow, that, Lord Jesus, you haven't changed and, and that you love us so much that you have opened the door for us to come to you and share great secrets with you because you get it. And we thank you, Lord, that you sympathize with us and you're carrying that burden for me. I don't have to carry it anymore. Father, I thank you that we don't have to carry these burdens anymore. We just need to come and talk to you about it. And we love you, Lord Jesus. We love you, Lord Jesus, for this. Thank you, Lord, for being that specialist, that heart specialist, Lord God, that we can come and talk to about anything. Thank you, Jesus, for that open door. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you're the great comforter at, at night, at noon. It doesn't matter where we are, Lord God, when we can't even utter a word that you understand our groans. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you for that. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, amen. All right. He sympathized with us. He speaks to us. You know, a lot of people say they don't hear from the Lord. And a lot of times it's because you're too busy talking. <laughs> you can't get a word out. John 4 verse, John 10 verse 4 says, when he has brought out all his own, he goes before them and the sheep follow him for they know their voice. You know, one of my prayers for us tonight is for those of us who are saying we don't know his voice. I pray that you will be so in tune by the time you come off this call, by the time you exit this ministry, by the time you, but by the time you wake up tomorrow, you will have a better understanding. Lord, I pray that their ears will be perked up, that they will, that their ears will hear your voice clearly, that there is no confusion. It's not a thought. It's the Holy Spirit. Lord, I pray, Lord God, that as you speak, speak. Every fiber of our being will respond to you. Father God, I speak to them in their dreams. Speak to them in visions. Oh God, speak to, speak to them in encounters. Speak to them in your word, Lord God. Speak to them through the Holy Spirit. Send them the ministry of angels to confirm your word, Lord God, and let it be so. Father, I know that you love us and we love you, Lord God. So speak so that your people can hear in the name of Jesus. Let, let them hear you, Lord God. Father, for those of us who are teaching and preaching. I pray that our words are your words. Our ears are your ears. Our eyes are your eyes. Let us not say or teach anything that's outside of your will or outside of your principles. Father, bless our very mouths, Lord God. Bless your mouthpiece and your oracles so that we only say what you say, Lord God, so that as we speak, people hear you, Lord God, in the name of Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord God, that you speak to us. F Father, I thank you. I thank you that you speak to us every day. You speak to us in a whisper. You speak to us in a thought. You speak to us in a touch. Oh, Lord God, heighten our senses. Lord God, I pray, Lord God, that they will come to hear your voice and recognize when it's you in every situation, no matter how dark it is, that they'll see your light. Thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. He speaks to us. Amen. Y'all still there? Yes, ma'am. Amen. 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 He is our God forever. He's our God forever. Ex Exodus 3.15. God also said to Moses, say this to the people of Israel, the Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. Y'all put your name in this one when you pray. Father, I thank you. Thank you, God. The Lord God of my fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob was sent to me. Oh, praise his name forever. Praise his name forever. Praise his name forever and be remembered throughout all generations. When you understand that he is your God forever and ever and ever, then you start to build up your trust. You start to rely and depend on him because you know you can trust his word. Because when he says he's going to do a thing, he's going to do a thing. So pray this over yourself right, right now. Father, we thank you that you are our God. Father, you're my Abba forever. 
forever. There is nothing on the face of this earth that, that separates your love from me. I thank you that you're our father forever. Just as you were the God of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you, oh God, you were sent for me. I love you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, that you're my God forever. No matter what the situation look like, you are my provider. No matter what is happening in my health, you're my healer. No matter what's happening in my finances, you got that covered too. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. All I got to do is yield to you and listen for you, Lord God. Thank you that you're my God forever. When I can't understand the path that I'm taking, that you're my God forever, that you're not leaving me one day. No, Lord. thank you, Jesus. Hey, my oh, my oh, my Thank you, Lord, that you're my God forever. Y'all need to declare that over yourself. He is your Lord forever. It's one of the reasons we just love him. He, you know, I have to make kilo sutra. Oh my. Thank you, Lord. We are falling in love with Jesus all over again. Some of us have been Christians for so long, we can't remember. We can't remember. But Father, I pray that you will bring back to their memories that first moment when they fell in love with you, Jesus, when they saw you as their savior, when they saw you as their friend, when they believed in you wholeheartedly, when they, when they were holding on to your hand. Father, bring back the encounters. Bring back the prophecy that was spoken over our lives that will come to completion. Lord God, bring those things back so we can fall in love all over again. Lord, I know that you are with us. You've never left us. Oh, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that you're our God forever and ever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. All right, y'all. So now we're gonna we're gonna pray over uh, families, and then we picked up an additional uh, prayer request that we're gonna cover again. Um, the way we're doing this again, I don't have nobody's business. <laughs> we are just pulling. We're going to pray over these individuals, Sharon Jenkins and Barbara Weathersby, as if it was Shelly Jeffcoat, as if it was Natalie Shoemaker. Okay. We're praying over these families in the same way you would pray for yourself. James 5 16 says, therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. It says, the prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. Well, we are fully activated. We have the power and the authority of the Holy Spirit, and we have access to heaven as people who intercede on other people's behalf. So again, whether you're on mute or you're out loud, pray over Sharon and pray over Barbara's family. And then we're also going to do an additional prayer for Brenda, who's in the hospital with brain cancer, and she's got a, sur a surgery coming up tomorrow. And then after we pray for these three individuals, we're going to come back to the room and we're going to catch any other prayer that we have within the live community. Uh, and then we're going to take it from there. Amen. So just go ahead and pray, 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 pray for Sharon, Barbara, and Brenda in, in your own way. Amen. Amen. So Lord God, I'm just lifting up Sharon Jenkins, Lord God. Lord, I bless her in every direction. Lord, I thank you that you have spared her life. Lord God, she is your daughter, Lord God. You have blessings in store for her. Lord God, only you know what Sharon stands in need of with her family and her health, Lord God, in every single area, Lord God. So we just ask that you bless her, bless Sharon, Lord God. Lord, we ask that you will give her more encounters with you so she can come to know you, Lord God. Let her be leveled up. Amen. Sharon needs to be leveled up in the name of Jesus. Sharon needs to be leveled up. So Lord, we just pray that you, you, you speak to her in dreams and visions, Lord God. Lord, I pray that you will, you will soften her heart so she will come to see you, Lord God, in a different way, Lord God. Oh God, you're so much more than just a day-to-day -day provider. So we pray that you will, uh, you will expand her grace, stretch her grace, Lord God, so she'll be built up in the way that you have destined her to be, to lead, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we cover Barbara and her family, Lord God. And in the same way that I've asked for intense and incredible amount of grace on my life, all of that I ask for Barbara now. Lord God, every bit of grace, the great grace that you have gifted me with, Lord God, I pour it all out on Barbara. I give her my portion, Lord God. There is always a refill from heaven. Lord God, give her my portion. I bless Barbara, Lord God. I ask that you will open her eyes to see what she was created to do and that she will have a yearning and 
and a renewal in her mind to come back to you, knowing that all things, Lord God, that you say will come true. Lord, I pray that you will show her how to trust you more, Lord God, and lean into you, Lord God. We thank you for all the incredible things that she's going to do, Barbara is going to do, and the impact that Barbara is going to have in the people around her, especially her family, Lord God. So I bless Barbara, Lord God, that you will give her the strength, Lord God, and that you will give her more grace, Lord God, that she can do the work. And Lord, we pray over Brenda, who is sitting in the hospital. Lord, I know you have angelic beings now healing her right now. I know that they're speaking to her now, but Lord, I ask that you remove in the name of Jesus, the spirit of fear, Lord God, and the spirit of worry and doubt, Lord God, that's surrounding her right now. Lord, I pray that you will flood Brenda's hospital room with love and light, Lord God, and let her, let her see you, Lord God, as you truly are. Oh God, thank you, Lord, for loving Brenda so much, Lord God, that you are showing up in her room. Lord, we ask that you will give her the spirit of peace and comfort in this situation, Lord God. Father, only you know how the story ends. We lift her up right now and that we pray, Lord God, that she will be blessed and have the most amazing, peaceful encounter with you, Lord Jesus. Father, remind her who you are. Father, remind her who she is in your eyes. Oh, I thank you, Lord God, that these women are, are the apple of your eye and we bless them, Lord God. Father, touch every single member of their family. Touch them in every, every meeting they go to, every place they go to, wherever they place, they place their feet. Make your plans known to them, Lord God. Open up heaven and give them the resources, the ideas, everything that they need, Lord God, to have a successful life. Lord, let this be a year that they are soaring, Lord God. Let this be a year that they are spirit-led, Lord God. Father, let them be obedient. Obedience yields rewards in heaven. Yes, Lord. Father, bless them, Lord God, so they will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, Lord God. Amen. We thank you, Lord, for the anointing that you placed on these women, Lord God, that their work is not done. And I pray, Lord God, that you just renew their mind and their spirit in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus, for these women. Bless them, Lord God, right now. Amen. 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 All right. I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to come on back to the room and see in the chat. Make sure. Amen. No, I'm not missing, I'm not missing anything. So for um for those of y'all who are in the room, if you have specific um prayer requests, you can drop it in the chat. I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing. Amen. Amen. Carla's on Facebook. Danielle, you can join the Zoom room. The the um Zoom room is in the um Facebook streets. If it's you know, you're saying content's not available. You need to come to the Zoom, Danielle. I need to talk to you. <laughs> Stop hiding from me and come to the Zoom room. Hey, Amen. I'm just gonna take a quick, quick pause so I could um make sure she got she got the info. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. All right. All right, y'all. All right. So again, I wanted to pause and make sure we don't have any prayers that came into you. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Carmen. Uh, pause and make sure we don't have any um, prayers that came into this particular room separately. And then if not, then I'm going to keep going, y'all. I'm going to keep going. All right. Just bear with me. I'm going to share. So the next thing we have is a uh, declaration. So let me share my screen. Let's, let me just see that. Terry, yes. Okay. All right. Let's uh let me share my screen and then we're gonna we're gonna pick up and pray for uh Terry's son for complete healing. Amen. We gotta work out our spiritual muscles tonight, y'all. We gotta pray for people. All right, so before we go into the declaration, Lord, we just, again, we want to lift up Terry's son, Lord God. Father, this matter is before heaven, and we are asking for you to respond. <laughs> Amen. Respond in a way that puts the family at ease, Lord God. Uh, we thank you, Lord God, that you are still in the business of miracles. And so we're asking 
We're asking by the blood of Jesus Christ that you will heal Terry's son fully, completely, full restoration, Lord God. Uh, praying over for, for Terry also, Lord God, that you will give her peace, Lord God, for everything that's going on right now with her son and that she will be the peacemaker in this situation. Um, as she's also needing, Lord God, to be renewed. So we, play, we pray not just for Terry's son for healing, Lord God, but we also pray that Terry will be renewed and uh, will be a, a source of strength in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you are you're hearing, her, hearing her now. And, and Lord, we just want you to release the angels, release the, the, the healing angels and send them in that room. Let us not be put to shame, Abba. Let us not be put to shame. You will be glorified. Amen. 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 All right. So we're going to do a declaration. And for those who are new to declarations, um, you know, this is not a, uh, this is not, uh, you know, the, the, those affirmations where everything is based on you and your power. <laughs> this is reminding the Lord of what he says about us in his word. And so when you're declaring anything, you know, a lot of people tell oh, I'm declaring decree, but it's got to be aligned to the word. And there's power and authority in the way that you do it. So everything has to be done in order. So as we, we're, we're going to all say, you got to speak it out, the declaration over yourself, receive it, believe it, and don't doubt it. Amen. So I declare this day that no weapon formed against me can prosper, Isaiah 54, 17, because I am the righteousness of God. Favor surrounds me as a shield. Divine protection surrounds me as a shield. Psalm 5, 12, I am therefore in the right place at the right time. I cannot be defeated or destroyed. In fact, every tongue that accuses me, every tongue that attacks me, I condemn with my words. This is my heritage. This is my right as a child of God made in his image, made with his dominion and authority living in me, coming forth out of my spirit through my words, Isaiah 54, 17. I declare today that Satan has no power over my life, that every weapon he has has been defeated, that fear is cast out, that love makes my faith grow, and therefore I cannot fail. Thank you, Lord. God's word cannot fail, and that's what I'm made of. His word, made in his image, after his likeness with the power of the Holy Spirit and authority of his words. Therefore, by the blood of Jesus, I dwell in the secret place of the Most High. I abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I say of the Lord, you are my refuge and my fortress. My God, in you I will trust. Father, we release these declarations based on what your word says, what your word says, and therefore it must come to pass. So we thank you, Lord, for reminding us of the power and the authority that we have through the Holy Spirit. Let these words, as we've said them, let them be real for us. Let them not just be words on a paper. As we're declaring these things, they become a part of us, or a part of what's true about us in the name of Jesus. Amen. There is, I'm telling you, there is no way you can make these declarations standing on God's word and you don't see a change in your heart. I'm telling you, it ain't going to happen. You, it, it, it would okay. please this will change you. You every time you come across a situation, every every time you, you before you go into a meeting, before you go to a doctor's appointment, you know, I'm I'm telling you, there's, there's no way. The more that you want to hear from heaven, the more that you want to be released, the more that you want to be healed, the more that you want. You've got to say, say words over yourself, what heaven says about you. I tell people all the time, I don't believe anything if God didn't say it about me. So you can call me what you want, but if it ain't in the Bible, it ain't real. Amen. So Amen. Words are more than just words. These are declaration. Okay. Because again, there's some of y'all who are still fighting the same old demon, the same old beast from 20, 30 years ago. You still fighting for, you still breaking curses and generational curses years ago. And you, it won't move. It won't shake. You under, you don't under understand the power that's inside of you. You have no authority. So therefore, you're coming in alignment. And so again, that's why the Lord wants us to come back to Him. Some of us are being brought to heal. Some of us have been bent in our knees because we've been so disobedient. Amen. And so He wants to just remind us of not only who we are, but who He is. We are because of who he is. I am because of who he is. Amen. And so therefore, when the word says, this is my right as a child of God, you got to know what your right is. It made in his image. When it says made with 
His dominion is not an affirmation. It's not, I'm, I am good because I am good. No, we're made with his dominion and his authority coming forth out of, this, of my spirit through my words. And again, some of y'all are cursing yourselves. The moment you ask for a blessing, you curse it. You curse other people. That means you're canceling your own blessings. So you've got to be careful what you say. What you say is so important. Amen. Say a declaration. If this ain't it for you, go find something in the Bible that is what the Lord told you about yourself and make that your declaration. Okay. Amen. Amen. I'm hyped up. I'm high hyped up. <laughs> I'm hyped up. Amen. 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 Welcome, Jasmine. Y'all. Hi. While Jasmine is here, um, before we go into um uh benediction and before again to for Jasmine, because she's new here, we we shut down the live so we can have real talk. But before we do that, while this that while he's on me, while he's on me, let's lift up Jasmine. And so we're gonna do the same as we did with the other ladies. We're just gonna bless her, Lord, bless her, Lord God, and every single thing that she's her yeah, oh mama, everything that you're putting your hand to Jasmine. We just thank you, Lord, that you are renewing your love for Jasmine right now. We just thank you, Lord, that you have brought her into this community so we can breathe life into her. We thank you, Lord God, that we are blessing her. We thank you for your grace and your goodness that you have surrounding Jasmine. That is such a beautiful flower, he says, amen. So we just wanna bless Jasmine, Lord, that everything that she stands in need of, heaven is aware of and she's getting it. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for the doors, the mega doors that you're opening for Jasmine in her business and the lives that she's touching, Lord God, with the education. Every child she comes in contact with, she is delight to that child. Every Every parent, every administrator, she is delight to those people. So, Lord, I thank you for the. I thank you for the covering that you've given Jasmine. I thank you for the anointing that you've placed on her that she can go into areas that we can't go and bless other people. We thank you for the vehicle, Lord God. We thank you for the. We thank you for the vehicle that you've given her, the platform, Lord God, so that she can speak life into other people. She can be a blessing to so many. So Lord, we just ask that you just refill her cup right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the fresh anointing, Lord God, that she will walk away feeling light and love, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus, for all, oh, for just loving her. We thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen, Jasmine. Amen. 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 Increase her territory. Yes, Tracy is saying increase her ter in territory. Expand her, Lord God, to touch many, many lives. Amen. Amen. All right, y'all. Okay, so I'm going to do the benediction and then I'm going to stop the live on the Facebook streets and then we're going to keep it for felt. We're going to have our fellowship afterwards because again, some things don't need to be on social media and y'all know we also record, record this for YouTube. If you're on the YouTube streets, and you want to come and join a live prayer, you don't need to see, <laughs> but you do have to, you do need to just come into the, if you search Facebook for come out of the wilderness prayer ministry, you'll see who we are. We're just a community. We pray together and, and we meet Mondays and Wednesdays. And then there's also teaching on Thursday. Amen. So I'm going to share my screen. We're going to do benediction. I'm going to stop the recording and then we're going to do, do fellowship. So bear with me. Amen. All right. All right. So this is benediction and blessing y'all again. You you know, you, you got to make it a habit. So I, you know, I also now say <laughs> I'm saying benediction when I'm leaving meetings. <laughs> okay? Because I've got to I've got to, you know, remind situations and people around me <laughs> what the Lord says. This is a blessing. So I'm going to say this blessing over myself again, you know, say um the blessing, the benediction, the everything, the declaration, the confession is all on the Facebook. It's all in the Facebook group. So you can take it with you or share it with a friend. If you know somebody is going through a time and they just need a little renewal, share it y'all, please. You know, this, these are God's words. I, you know, I'm not, you know, please like share it as much as you can get it out there and let's help as many people and be the light for as many people as possible. So Ephesians yeah verses 20 through 21 says now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all we ask or think according to the power at work within us come on to him be glory in the church and in christ jesus throughout all generations 
expectation Praise. forever and ever. Just sit on that word. Father, I thank you that you're able to do yes. far more abundantly than all I'll ever ask, all I'll ever think according to the power at work within us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever and ever and ever. Amen. 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 All right, y'all. All right, I'm going to stop sharing. Y'all on Facebook, y'all have a good night. If you want to come to the room, come on in. <laughs> but we'll catch you next week. I love you. Jesus loves you more. All right, let me stop sharing there. I'm going to stop. Amen. I'm going to stop recording.